The balanced partition problem is another problem that is very similar to the integer knapsack problem. The input is a set of n integers, each ranging from 0 to k, and I'll call these integers a1 through an, and my goal is to partition those integers into two subsets, s1 and s2, such that I minimize the difference of the sums of the elements in each of the two subsets. This is a relatively common problem in practice because it involves kind of fairly dividing up the elements of a set. My dynamic programming subproblems will be the following. I'm going to let p of ij take the value 1 if there is some subset of the first i integers which has a sum of j. And I'm going to let pij be 0 otherwise. How many such subproblems are there? Well, i can range from 1 up to n, and j can range from 0 up through n times k. So I have potentially n squared k different subproblems. My recursive formula for p of ij is going to be very easy. p of ij is going to be equal to 1 if p of i minus 1 j is equal to 1, because in this case I know I have a subset of the first i minus 1 elements that sums to j, and p of ij will also be 1 if p of i minus 1 j minus ai is equal to 1, because in this case there's a subset of the first i minus 1 elements which sums to j minus ai, so if I then add in the ith element I'll have a subset of the first i elements, which sums to j. And I can write this formula in a more compact fashion as follows. I can just say that p of i j is just the max of p of i minus 1 j and p of i minus 1 j minus a i. Okay, so solving for all of these p i j values is going to take me order of n squared k time because each one of them requires order one time to compute, and there's n squared k of them. However, I still need to worry about solving the original problem. I have to minimize the difference of the sums of two subsets in a partition of my original set. So to do that, let's let s denote the sum of all of the integers in my original set, divided by 2. And what I'd like to do is find a subset of the elements a1 through an, whose sum is as close to s as possible. If I can hit s exactly, then that means that my objective value is going to be 0. Let me clear a bit of extra space here. So what I want to do is I want to find the minimum value of s minus i, let's say over all i less than or equal to s, such that p of n i is 1. And all this says is, of all the possible sums i that I can get by dividing up these n numbers, I want to pick the one that minimizes the distance from s. So let's consider the value of i which minimizes that expression, and let's let s1 be the subset whose sum is equal to i. If I look at the remaining elements, and I call that set S2, then I know that that remaining set has a sum equal to twice S minus I, because all of the elements, A1 through AN, sum up to 2S. Note that I can actually find the elements in S1 and the elements in S2 using the standard trick of maintaining back pointers. If I now look at my objective, the absolute value of the difference of the sum of s1 minus the sum of s2, then I see that this is going to be equal to twice s minus twice i, which is nothing more than twice the value of this minimization expression. So if I look at this minimization expression, it gives me the optimal objective value for my problem, and I'm also able to find the sets s1 and s2 which achieve that optimal objective.